Ian here again from FPV Power. Just going to um, showcase our new product, which is a lithium iron phosphate 12 volt 25 amp hour, which is this little fella here. And this will be like, a, let's call it like a motor, motorcycle battery size. Very, very small. Uh, only 25 amp hour. So the idea of this, this is a hybrid system. So we've got our FPV Power. Let me just spin this around. Oh, what do I have here? This is the American Maxwell Technologies Super Capacitor. 16 volt, 500 farads, as you can see here, positive, negative. So what we've done here is we have um, paralleled them up into a hybrid system uh, so that you've got the power of a capacitor. Those who don't know what a super capacitor does, a super, this super capacitor right here, 3.2 kilos by itself, yay big, will turn over a V8 you know, diesel, like a, a Sahara. Toyota uh, Land Cruiser Sahara V8 diesel, not a problem. These will turn over trucks, turn over buses, coaches, and whatnot. And of course, if it's 24 volt, you put two of these in parallel. But the specs on these, they can dump 1,900 amps at will. But the thing, uh, the downside is, there's a pro and there's, and there's a cons. So the downside is that a supercapacitor doesn't have the ability to store large amount of uh, energy. So if you were to leave your lights on, with a super capacitor or your radio blaring, let's say after six or seven minutes or 10 minutes at the max, um, your battery, this the voltage in the capacitor has gone too far low uh, for you to uh, be able to start your, your engine again. So what we've done here is we've used um, uh, lithium ion phosphates. We've made this battery only very small uh, and that will sit next to it in parallel uh, at 25 amp hour at 12 volts. You can have your doors open, your lights blaring, um, between starting your engine, of course, the alternator, alternator charging up, you can leave your doors open, etc. And of course, the lithium ion phosphates has a low voltage cutoff, has a battery management system, a BMS. So, in other words, is to give you a scenario, if I charge this fully charged, it will sit around 13. Point, um, 30, between 13.4 to 13.8, you'll sit there as a full battery. Uh, and then after a year, if you don't charge it, you drop maybe one volt. You know, that's it. So lithium ion phosphate versus your lead batteries in your boats. Uh, if you leave it uh, not topped up all the time, something went wrong, you're not looking after it properly, a lot of people are going through a lot of lead batteries, a lot of lead st cranking starting battery for the inboard or the outboard uh, on their boats because they're not using it regularly. If it's like a used regularly, then that's not a problem. It's always being run, always being charged. So uh, we have coupled a lithium iron phosphate battery, 25 amp hour, with a, let's turn it around here, with a, lith uh, with a super capacitor, as you can see, beautiful super capacitor right there, ready to go as a solution, as a hybrid battery. Uh, and in this situation here, mate, uh, you'll never have to buy another battery again for your, um, for your boat. And this is a very reliable system. Uh, and even the super capacitor at 10.4 volts, um, I'll link a video into it later on, can start my uh, camper van. So I've got, I've got a camper van still with a uh, lead battery as a starting battery and haven't started for weeks. Decided to take it for a spin today. Uh, and it was when I cranked the, uh, when I turned the car on uh, and my voltmeter on my um, cigarette plug was showing, I was blinking, meaning it was low at 10.4 volts. So at 10.4 volts on a, on a lead battery or any battery, uh, you will not see it. Uh, you know, it might move, it might turn your engine, but it will definitely not start it. It might just go chuk, chuk, turn it one or two or two and a half times and that's it. But with a super capacitor, like one of these in there, at 10.4 volts, guess what? I'm in my camper van uh, and we haven't started this for weeks. And my battery in the car is about 10.4, but it has a super capacitor uh, in parallel to it. So at 10.3 now, let's crank it up and have a look. See that? Not a problem. 